Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and today we're going to check out what's new in Orlando's Marriott World Center. A little fun fact, this Marriott is the biggest Marriott in the entire world. It opened in 1986. I like to come here every year to see just what's going on, what's new. Surrounding the World Center Marriott are three Marriott vacation clubs, Imperial Palms, Royal Palms, and Sable Palms. And that's where we're gonna be parking today, Sable Palms, because I like it there and I like to go check out to see what's new there as well. It's one of my favorite places to stay in Orlando. This is the walk from Sable Palms to the Marriott World Center. This is new since my last visit here last year. This video is taken in the very beginning of September after Labor Day and it is a spectacular time to come to the World Center because all the kids are back to school. There's no conventions or parties going on. It's completely quiet. First thing we're going to check out is River Falls. This was being built the last time I was here. I have a video of the construction from my last visit. It was a, exactly a year ago. This is an incredible addition to the Marriott World Center for sure. I'm sure it could get very busy there, but that wasn't the case today. Have you been to the River Falls before? Let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't staying at the Marriott. I was just going to go check things out, so I didn't have a pass to get in, but they were kind enough to let me walk around so I could film it for you guys. With the addition of this new River Falls, I could say this is easily one of the best pools in Orlando. A few other good ones, uh, Four Seasons, the JW Marriott, Wyndham at Bonnet Creek. But yeah, this one, this one's got it going on because the other pool is really great too. And we're going to go see that next. Also in this video, I'll be taking you inside and showing you the lobby and where you could dine. And we're going to take the great elevator ride up. That is an experience in itself. Day or night, it is like really the coolest elevator ride in all of Orlando. I'm gonna go grab some coffee so I can talk better. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now we're gonna be going to the Falls Pool. This is the original pool, but it's great. On its own, it was impressive, but now with the addition to the River Falls Water Park, it's definitely a top competitor as far as Orlando pools go, for sure. Over on our right-hand side is the Falls Pool Bar and Grill, one of the many places you could dine at the Marriott World Center. I've never personally tried to bring my own food or beverages in here. I'm not sure if they allow it or not.
this pool is seriously a lot of fun. And even in the evenings, like I think it's at nine o'clock, they have like, it's like 10 minutes. It's a laser show, but then they have like party and rock music. It's very fun, a lot of energy. It gets everybody going. They also have movie nights and all kinds of activities going on. And now I'm gonna take you inside. We're gonna go, as soon as you walk in from the pool, you're gonna find the marketplace on the lower level that more in detail towards the end of the video. Right now, we're gonna be walking towards the lobby. Come join me as I step outside and go check out the dynamic view of the falls pool. As you can see, coming after Labor Day to Orlando is a very good time to come if you do not like crowds. <laughs> it is very hot though. It's in the 90s and it's very, very humid. September is definitely one of my favorite times to go for pool weather, but it does rain every day. But in most cases, the rain only lasts maybe 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes. It's never like a full day of rain. With that being said, September and October is hurricane season in Florida. It obviously doesn't happen every year, but if there is a storm that comes through, you're gonna have a lot more rain and possibly park closures. Now we're gonna go inside again and continue our tour. Walking to Mikado is very beautiful. I've never been here before because it's been closed because of the pandemic on my other previous visits. Looks really nice. Here's a list of what is open now. It seems like everything is up and functioning again at full force. That's very good news. Uh, some of the, several of the restaurants are open for dinner only. I would like to add to you if like your main goal of the trip is to go see Mickey and Minnie and friends, this is very close to Disney World. It's a very good choice if you don't want to stay on Disney property, but you want something that's close. Okay, now <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for, the great elevator ride. Come on and join me. This may be one of those things that are more impressive in person, but I always like to add it to my video because I think it's fun. All right, now we're gonna go take a walk through the marketplace and show you what kind of food items they have. If you'd like to that grab and go, bring it to your room or bring it to the pool kind of thing.
Do I like the Marriott World Center? I love it. I could spend a whole day there walking around. <laughs> I love it. There's so much to do and see. The location of the Magic Kingdom and you know the Disney Resorts is fantastic. Uh, the people are nice. The pools are spectacular. The rates, I don't know. I stay at timeshares, so I usually rarely ever stay at a place like this. But you know, they do have the timeshares that surround it. Sable Palms being my favorite of the three. They also have this casino grooming. <laughs> you guys know how much I like casinos. <laughs> they have this for the kids and for the big kids at heart. That concludes our tour of the Marriott World Center. I really love walking around there. If you would like to see more of this resort, I'm gonna leave right here two videos that I previously took of the Marriott World Center. And I'm also gonna leave a playlist of all the resorts that I went to in Orlando. There are lots of options. You just have to find the right one for you. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Safe travels to you.